this video we're going to add a text component to our crosshair widget so that when we aim at an object that the player can interact with, text will be displayed prompting the player to press a key to interact with them. Opening up the crosshair widget that we created earlier in this series, it currently only has the image which displays the crosshair in the center of the screen. I'm going to add a text component from the palette on the left hand side and add that to the canvas. By default it will go to 00, zero which is the top left hand corner of the canvas. I'm going to set the anchors to top center, the X alignment to 0.5, and then I can set the X position to zero, and now it's set halfway across the screen directly in the top. I want to move it down a little bit. I could drag it by hand, but I'm just going to set the Y position to something like 400 pixels, so it's just above the top of the screen. If you want to see how this looks on different size displays, you could adjust the size of your canvas here to make sure that your text is still displayed in the correct place on a 2K or 4K monitor, but for now I'm going to leave that on 1080 and it'll do just fine. Now that the text block is positioned, I'm going to change the text to read Interact. You can change the font and size and color under the appearance tab here, so I'm just going to change this to bold italic. Um, now I want to animate this text so that it appears only when we want it and disappears when we don't want it to be shown. To add animations to elements of your widgets is quite simple. Down here in the bottom left you have the animations drawer. When you click that it pops up just like the content drawer does for any of your other content in Unreal. On the right hand side here you have the dock in layout button which will fix the animations window to your screen so it doesn't pop up and down. If you don't do that, every time you click away from it it will disappear. I find this quite frustrating to work with so I recommend you dock yours. To add a new animation you simply click the little green plus animation button here which will create a new animation. I'm going to call this show hide text. I'm calling it show and hide text because if it fades the text in when we play it forward, we can play it backwards to fade the text out, so the animation can be used to do both. We don't need to create two separate animation tracks, but you could if you wanted to. So how do you set up the animations? Select the animation that you want to work with and the screen will change, the blue text will display to let you know you are now working in an animation space. This timeline at the bottom here is where you will place your keyframes. So right now I'm going to start by selecting the text, and I'm just going to change its color and opacity alpha value to zero so that it's disappeared and press this little keyframe diamond button on the right hand side here. That will add the color and opacity track to our animation and it will add this gray diamond to the timeline here telling us that we have logged our changes to the timeline. I want this animation to happen fairly quickly so I'm now going to just scroll the timeline forward to about one and a half seconds change the alpha back to 1, and add a keyframe. This will automatically adjust the size of the timeline to fit between those two points, and if you drag this backwards and forwards across your timeline, you can see the animation taking place. Our text is fading in as we play the animation forward. You can also use the controls at the bottom here. Press play, text fades in, reverse, text fades out. So this animation can be used to both fade in and out the text. And that's it. That's the animation set up for a basic fade in and out. Head over to the graph and we can set up some functions which will allow us to use that animation much more easily. Um, the show hide animation is visible here in our variables list. And I'm going to create a custom event, right click custom event. This is going to be called show text. If we've got show text, then we should probably create a second custom event to hide the text. To play the animation is very simple. Drag it onto your um, blueprint graph to get a reference to it, and then from the blue pin on your reference, you can play the animation. The play animation node must be hooked up with an executionable line, and then you get to choose whether to play the animation forwards or in reverse, or ping-ponging backwards and forwards if you set multiple loops for it. This is how you can do strobing or flashing text. So that would just play this forwards. And then for hide text, you can repeat exactly the same thing. I'm just going to copy and paste it. And set the play mode to reverse. Now this would work 
when you call show text you will show the text when you call hide text you will hide the text but you would also be able to now call these functions even if the text was visible you could call show text again and it would fade in again on a loop so I'm going to add a little bit of logic so that these functions do not call if they are not needed to do this we're going to create a new variable and just call it visible compile the blueprint and by default I'm going to set visible to true because our text is by default visible so if we are calling show text we get our visible boolean and we create a branch so that's right click branch or if statement or the shortcut is B on your keyboard hold down B and click to create a branch node connect up the boolean and so if the text is visible we don't want to play the animation to show the text we only want to play it if the text is not visible whereas down here for hide text we can use the same boolean and this time if we're hiding the text we only want this animation to play to hide the text if the text is visible this uh, now needs to be set in order to be used because currently whilst we have these booleans we don't make use of them anywhere so just here on the other side of the animations drag in your boolean and this time set it if we've played the animation forward our text is now visible check the little text check the little box and you're done copy and paste that down below but the other way around if hide text has worked we've played the animation backwards our text is now set to invisible and you can access these functions with any reference to the HUD. So we'll set that up in the next video and show you how you can call these functions.